Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and this is Roadkill Ranch on No Man's Land, Episode 2. We have made a lot of hay bales, and we need some place to store them. I cleared out some trees just behind our machine shed, and I'm looking at placing it right in here. It's going to be hard for you to see. But what I'm trying to do is get the recall plate out in the traffic area in front. And you should be able to see the little square now in front. Trying to keep it out of the silo in the back. As close to the machine shed as I can. Now I'm looking for that yellow target plate in front. It's hard to do this without getting rid of all the trees. You can see the little left corner of the target plate. How'd we do? I believe we are going to live with it. Nice placement. Okay, let's test this. And nothing happens. Oh, that's the recall plate. We need to drop it to the right between the recall plate and the storage area. There it goes. Perfect. And the second one, away it goes. And perfect stacking. Better than I can do. We can put this away because we are going to well we're not gonna buy the trailer we're gonna lease a bale trailer and I think we're gonna stick with the tried and true base Arkusen Let's go get it. There's our house coming into view. Kind of a snaky entrance here. Till we get past the field. And you will notice that the beans are gone. Raznak came and harvested all the beans. And now the big question is how many hay bales are we going to get? And they're kind of hard to see in here. Some of these bushes are the same color. Well, I'm going to work on picking up bales, and I will 
See you in a little bit. We've made kind of a bat cave entrance to get into our storage area here. And we're going to drop off the last few hay bales that we have made. Before we take back this trailer, we need to pick up the rest of the wet grass that we're going to leave as silage. As soon as I can hook onto this baler, there we go. I thought we could hook it up to the front, but evidently not. We have grass cut in the front here. We need to get windrowed and baled up still. We have made a lot of windrow. We're going to get a lot of bales out of this front area. Thought I would make it into a time lapse for you, but there's a lot of turns and twists, and I didn't figure that would work very good, so we'll see how the baling does. I'm not quite sure why I thought the baling would be less twisty and turny since I had to follow the same windrows, but anyway, we are done with the baling and it is now time to wrap them all with our pink wrap and I'm sure I will not be making a time lapse of this either. These bales are as hard to find, if not harder, than the hay bales were. Well, another task completed. This is our last bale. Yes, you are correct. I am headed out with the mowing equipment again. Only this time, I'm going to put both mowers in front and the windrow in back. Do two steps at once, I hope. We'll see what happens. And we're going to work on the next field. The bean field over here, I am planning on widening out like we did the other fields. We're going to get rid of the... I really thought I could mow off the dead soybeans there, but evidently not. Rain is on the way, so we have to be diligent and watch what we're doing. But I'm going to widen this field out up here. I already got rid of all the trees. So we're going to make this field a little wider. I don't think we're going to make it any farther up, but I did want to mow as much grass as was mine up here. Looks like we're making windrows just fine following the mower. Won't get a lot, but we'll get a few more bales out of this. since we're just going to plow it up anyway. Watch me try this tricky maneuver. Ah, I didn't do it. Oh. But that is all of this grass. Baled, or not baled, windrowed and ready for baling. And let's get to baling. 
That rain is due any time now. It, it's been up there in the forecast for a while. We'll see if we can't get all of these up, bailed up, and wrapped. Oh boy, there it is. We didn't get bailed up fast enough. It's raining. Okay, we still need to go back and get that hay bale picked up quick because it will disintegrate in the rain. All of the silage bales are safe now. There it is. And we'll sneak back in our bat cave entrance here and drop it off. We are currently picking up the last of the silage bales that we made. Nothing else to do when it's raining. And we will Stack it over here next to the other pile without knocking them over, I hope. Get them as close as we can. Got to make it look pretty. Come on. Ooh, that was pretty close. Right there. There. And now we are done with the bale trailer, so let's turn it in. Well, I'm looking for busy work, I guess. I decided I'd clean up the yard, get a lot of this equipment put away, and I decided to put the mowing equipment 
in the machine shed here. It's all kind of dirty, but I figured I'd get it put away. Every time I come around that corner, I think I'm going to hit those bales. And speaking of bales, those are Raznak's hay bales. We need to get those to him at some point. I found those in our field when we took over. And he was in charge of harvesting the oats, so I'm sure they're his. And yeah, we got room for the tether. I find it easier to put some things away by attaching them to the front rather than trying to back short equipment. There we go. Semi cleaned up. And we'll back this in here. While we were working on the grass, I decided we needed to get a sheep enclosure. So I have decided to go with the Mercury Farms large sheep enclosure. And over here, where the trees were cut down before, I smoothed it out and put some grass down so that we could make a good placement. Just do it. There we go. Ah, we left a dip. Okay, now we need to plow and fix that spot where we encroached into the field. I didn't want to do that, but I wanted to put that little edge of grass back on. So, it would look like it did before. I'd like to get rid of that water right there, but eh, I'm not going to mess with it right now. Let's get right along the edge. get it at zero degrees or no 90 degrees
right on the edge and hold it at 90 degrees. There we go. Easy does it. And why didn't it match up at the end? Okay, we can fix this. Let's put a little more grass down. There we go. And just a little bit more plowing to do. I think I want to round this corner at some point. Rather than have that nice square corner. I don't know. All fixed. I'm going to leave the equipment over here because we need to work on this field again. Okay, time to mess with sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Get these doors opened up. Come on. There we go. And let's see, where do we get... We should probably get some food and water in here before we buy sheep. And what is this? We don't have this on PlayStation or Xbox. Okay, I have to do some learning and I'll be back. Well, I think I know what I'm doing. We need to rotate that. Oh, the other way. And we need to move the valve away. Yeah, right about there looks good. Oh, no pressure here. Looks good. Oh, but I can't add water without animals. All right, well, it's ready to go. Looky here. New equipment. We needed to get some sort of a scoop to clean up after animals. So I decided to get the old massy skid steer. And we've got the cheapy bale grinder so we can give them some straw. And I'm going to put that over here for a time being because when I spawn the straw bale, we want to get it in out of the rain. There we go. I'm not sure exactly how fast rain affects objects. I don't know if it does damage every hour or if it only happens at midnight. Uh, probably need to do a study on that at some point. But we need to get this bale back to the farm as soon as possible. So I am going to do that and I'll see who I will see you when we get there.
That was a pretty uneventful drive, thank goodness. It was long at 12 miles an hour, but we're here. So, I wonder which one of these is where we put straw. Not seeing anything. Well, I bet I have to get sheep first. So let's get Suffolk's and let's go with 10. I think will be a good number to start with. And now, well, water, water works. still don't oops I still don't see anything get in there uh, I'm a dork they don't take straw I didn't need a straw grinder 1,500 to sell that. We get to keep the forks. So the forks cost us $600. Now we'll just leave the straw bale here. They do need hay. So let's, whoop, let's go get some hay. One hay bale coming up. Oh, that was close. All right. Well, how's this work? Uh, nope, not like that. Okay, figured it out. Trigger's over here. And we can spawn multiple bales at a time. All we want is one, though. And there it is. All right, let's get that over to the sheep. <laughs> Oops, I, <laughs> I put it back in. All right, get one back out. Now I have to swing to the left. Not to the right, because it'll go back into the... Back into the shed. Okay. We're going to have to figure a better way to do that. And bingo! They are fed. Let's put this bale in here out of the way. And let's put this straw bale up into the machine shed. Oof. I am a bull in a china shop. We'll use it for animals sometime later. I went and picked up the skid steer bucket. And there is a little bit of grass right there. Whoop. Boy, this thing is hard to steer. A little bit of grass right there. And we will see if we can put this in with the sheep. They should have eaten the hay that we put in there. Uh, down just a little bit so we can get this to fit. there.
Nope. All right, well, it'll disintegrate. We'll just leave it in the bucket. Well, nobody's pregnant yet, but we'll get some babies sooner or later. Sheep are ready to go. Ten sheep will populate our farm. It is now the next day, and I am playing with the GPS again. We are liming. I know I'm wasting off to the side here, but this is the edge that is left over. The field that we are liming is the soybean field furthest from the house that we have made into a huge field now. And we're out of lime. This is a pretty small spreading unit. Luckily we have a lime station right here on our farm. I might learn to like this GPS and then I'll have to miss it while I'm playing on the console. There we go. This big field is done. Look at this. The field extends from the bottom left corner of section 20 to the bottom right corner of 40. We also widened this field out, so we need to lime this edge here. There we go. Up across the top and then right along the tree line. Oops, I missed a little bit there.
And it doesn't need to be perfect. Just to get most of it. Get one more little touch over here. Because the rest of the field is going to need to be re-limed before these pieces. And I'll just be redoing this again. But this will get most of it. Time for the next step, which is fertilizing. Why'd it stop? Oh, I'm out of money. <laughs> We're going to start in the back again on the big field that we made 20 through 40 and we're gonna make all of this white stuff disappear I like putting down the lime first and then fertilizing that way I can see if I missed anything with my fertilizer if you do it sticks out bright white Fertilizing goes a lot faster than anything else. And this completes the last of the fertilizing. All of the fields have fertilizer on them. Next step is to plant. Here's an overview of the fields in their fertilizing state. My choice for planting is the Lemkin, but we have no money. So off to the woods. Time to find a nice big tree. I don't see any more really big trees. That one's not too bad right there. Let's make him fall that way. I think he's lonely and he needs some friends. 
After a little bit of deforestation and log sales, we have leased the Lemkin Cedar. Looks like my neighbor Gizmo already has some wheat coming up. And weeds. And what is this? Oh, that might be canola right there. That's what we're going to plant. I like my new front yard. No weeds. We can fill it up with seed. And that left us with $6,000. That's not too bad. I don't think we'll have to refill the cedar, but you never know. And again, we're going to start with the big, big, big field here. We'll go in the back corner. And let her rip. see what I'm about to do. I'm almost out of diesel. I gotta run in and get some diesel quick. I'll be right back. Finish this episode up with some goofy shots on the cedar. They're fun to shoot. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Roadkill Ranch. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you again very soon.